Welcome to my YouTube channel. Learn at ease. In this video I will discuss a topic in biochemistry. Biomolecules, carbohydrates. Part 4. Disaccharides, trisaccharides, and their occurrences. Let me begin, the video by describing disaccharides. Disaccharides, such as maltose, lactose, and sucrose, consist of two monosaccharides joined covalently by an O-glycosidic bond, which is formed when a hydroxyl group at the enomeric carbon of one monosaccharide reacts with the hydroxyl group of other monosaccharide. They are crystalline, water-soluble, and sweet to taste. Disaccharides are of two types. Reducing disaccharides which possess free aldehyde or keto group. Non-reducing disaccharides, which do not possess free aldehyde or keto group. Examples for reducing sugar are, maltose, lactose, etc. And, commonly used examples for non-reducing sugar are, sucrose and trihalose. Now let us understand the structure of maltose. Image on the left shows, the structure of maltose, the disaccharide possess two alpha-glucopyranose residues, linked by alpha-1 to 4 linkage. This structure is traditionally named as O-alpha, D, glucopyranosyl, 1 to 4, alpha, D, glucopyranose. In maltose, the anomeric OH group of one glucose molecule has an alpha glycosidic bond with C4 in a second glucose residue thus, this linkage is called as alpha 1 to 4 linkage. Because the disaccharide retains a free anomeric carbon, that is C1 of the second glucose residue, maltose is a reducing sugar. It is found as a breakdown product of the starch and as an intermediate in intestinal digestion. Now I will explain the structure of lactose. Image on the left represents, the structure of lactose, the disaccharide possess two beta-glucopyranose residues, linked by beta-1 to 4 linkage. This structure is traditionally named as O-beta, D, glucopyranosyl, 1 to 4, beta, D, glucopyranose. In lactose, the anomeric OH group of galactose forms a beta-glycosidic bond with C4 of a glucose. Because the disaccharide retains a free anomeric carbon, C1 of the second glucose residue, lactose is a reducing sugar. Occurrence, lactose is the most important carbohydrate in the milk of mammals. Cow's milk contains 4.5% lactose, while human milk contains up to 7.5%. Now. I shall explain the structure of non-reducing disaccharide that is, sucrose. Image on the left represents, the structure of sucrose, the disaccharide possess alpha-glucopyranose residue and beta-fructofuranose residue, linked by beta-1 to 2 linkage. This structure is traditionally named as O-alpha, D, glucopyranosyl, 1 to 2, beta, D, fructofuranosid. In sucrose, the anomeric OH, at C1, group of glucose forms a beta-glycosidic bond with anomeric C2 of a fructose. Sucrose is therefore one of the non-reducing sugars as it does not possess free anomeric carbon, which is represented by asterisk in the image on the left. It serves in plants as the form in which carbohydrates are transported, and as a soluble carbohydrate reserve. Occurrences, rich sources are sugar cane and sugar beet that is cane sugar and beet sugar. This sugar is also named as invert sugar this is because sucrose has a specific optical rotation of plus 66.5 degree. But on hydrolysis by an enzyme, invertase yields an equimolar mixture of D-glucose and D-fructose. Specific optical rotation of D-glucose is plus 52.5 degree and of D-fructose is minus 92 degrees. Thus, on hydrolysis, the equimolar mixture has net negative optical rotation. So it is named as invert sugar. Now enzyme invertase is known as sucrase. Now, let me show you structure of another non-reducing sugar, that is trihalose. Image on the left represents, the structure of trihalose, the disaccharide possess two alpha-glucopyranose residues, linked by alpha-1 to 1 linkage. 
This structure is traditionally named as O-alpha, D, glucopyranosyl, 1 to 1, alpha, D, glucopyranose. Trihalose, also known as mycose or tremolose, is a natural alpha-linked disaccharide formed by an alpha-alpha-1-1 glucoside bond between two alpha-glucopyranose units. Thus, it does not have free anomeric carbon making it a non-reducing sugar. Occurrence, trihalose is the major carbohydrate energy storage molecule used by insects for flight. Insects possess enzyme trihalase which releases glucose from trihalose which is used to produce energy for flight. Now let me show you the structure of two more disaccharides made of glucose residues, they are isomaltose and cellobios. The first image on the left represents structure of isomaltose. Some key facts of this disaccharide are. Isomaltose is a reducing sugar. Possesses alpha-1-6 linkage between two glucose residues. Produced on hydrolysis of starch and amylopectin by alpha-1-4 amylases where alpha-1-4 amylases can cleave alpha-1-4 linkages but cannot cleave alpha-1-6 linkages yielding maltose. The second image on the left represents the structure of cellobios. Some key facts of this disaccharide are. Cellobios is a reducing sugar. Possesses beta-1-6 linkage between two glucose residues. Produced on hydrolysis of cellulose by N enzyme cellulases. Cellobios is produced by partial hydrolysis of cellulose by cellulase, however on complete hydrolysis of cellulose only glucose is obtained. Now, let me define trisaccharide and describe some well-identified trisaccharides. Trisaccharides consist of three monosaccharides joined covalently by an O-glycosidic bond. Some well-identified trisaccharides are Isomaltotriose, Nigerotriose, Maltotriose, Malezitose, Maltotriolose, Raffinose and Kestose, which are represented in tabular format here along with other details, such as the information regarding various monomeric units appearing in the trisaccharide, along with the type of O-glycosidic linkage occurring. The occurrence and the function of these trisaccharides is shown in the table. Carefully see the table, to understand the structure of each trisaccharide and its function. Now, I will explain, monosaccharide and disaccharide of biological importance. Glyceraldehyde is found in cells as phosphate and glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is an intermediate in glycolysis. Dihydroxyacetone is found in cells as phosphate, and its 1-phosphate is an intermediate in glycolysis. Diarythrose is widespread in nature and its 4-phosphate is an intermediate in carbohydrate metabolism. Diaribose is widespread in nature, as a constituent in RNA and nucleotides and it's essential for the structure of RNA and nucleotide coenzymes, ATP, NAD+, and NADP+. Dedeoxyribose is widespread, as a constituent in DNA and it is essential for the structure of DNA. Deribulose is produced during metabolism and it is an important metabolite in hexose monophosphate shunt. D-xylose is found as a constituent in glycoproteins and gums, and it is involved in the function of glycoproteins. L-xylulose is found as, as an intermediate in uronic pathway and excreted in urine in essential panatogeria. D-lixose is found in heart muscle and it is an essential component of lixoflavin of heart muscle. D-glucose is also known as dextrose, it found in fruits, as a constituent of disaccharides, polysaccharides such as starch, glycogen, cellulose etc. It is the sugar fuel of life, as it is used to produce ADP, excreted in urine in diabetes. D-galactose is found as a constituent of disaccharide lactose found in milk, which gets converted to glucose for entering glycolysis, and failure of this conversion leads to galactosemia. D-manose is found in plant polysaccharides and animal glycoproteins essential for the structure of polysaccharides. D-fructose is found in fruits and honey, as a constituent of sucrose and inulin and its phosphates are intermediate in glycolysis. d is found in plants and its 7-phosphate form is intermediate in hexose monophosphate shunt, and in photosynthesis. 
sucrose is a major constituent of cane sugar, beet sugar, pineapple, etc. And most commonly used as table sugar. Lactose is a sugar found in milk, enzyme lactase is required to hydrolyze lactose and its absence is termed as lactose intolerance, which causes diarrhea on consumption of milk. Maltose is a product of starch hydrolysis, found in germinating seeds, and it is an important intermediate in digestion of starch. References used to prepare this video are given here. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe below. Thank you for watching my video. This video is prepared by Dr. Dwaypayan Goswami.